Good morning, everybody. My name is David Marsh, and I'm a solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. Um, just a little bit about myself. I'm, I'm currently based in Denver, Colorado, so unfortunately, I, I couldn't be there in person today. Um, but I've been at Amazon for just over two years. And I initially started more generally as a public sector essay, where I got to work with all types of customers from government to education, uh, partners, and more. Now I'm still in public sector at AWS, but I work specifically with nonprofit organizations. So I'm a, I'm a generalist SA, but I do love having conversations around security, compliance, and AWS foundations. So, um, you know, different verticals across public sector have some unique challenges. But one common challenge that we see across all of public sector is that governance requirements are often unique and they can be hard to manage at scale. So today I'm gonna to introduce you to an AWS solution called Landing Zone Accelerator on AWS. And this solution can help you with some of those challenges. So we'll talk about that today. And that brings me to my agenda. So first we'll take a, uh, a quick look at Landing Zone Accelerator from a high level, and we'll align this with some challenges that we see in public sector. Then we'll dive into some more details around the solution with some highlights and some of the benefits of the solution. Then we'll look at the actual features and design uh, with an architecture diagram of Landing Zone Accelerator. And then we'll wrap things up with how you can get started with this solution. So first, a few of the compliance challenges that we see across public sector. So sometimes we see that customers aren't able to quickly provision AWS environments that meet their unique governance needs. Often these needs are robust and limited time and resources can make this difficult to manage. Many solutions also don't offer customization options for organizational requirements and compliance frameworks that public sector customers need to adhere to. And there's also been no clear cut way to manage governance across multiple AWS accounts while staying low cost. And so I want to introduce you to Landing Zone Accelerator on AWS to solve some of these challenges. It's an open source software solution that helps you accelerate the implementation of your security controls and your infrastructure foundation on AWS. So now let's talk about the solution in a little more detail. We'll zoom in here uh, to get a little more specific on how the solution can help our public sector customers. And the first is that the solution allows our customers to build compliant AWS environments in a matter of days. Now, without solutions like this, it could take months or years to build out a fully featured compliant environment on your own. It also allows organizations to focus their time and their budgets less on compliance foundations and more on the actual migrations that they may be performing or the day-to-day -day AWS operations. And because AW, excuse me, because Landing Zone Accelerator is an AWS solution in the AWS solutions library, it comes with a wealth of documentation to help you get started. In addition to that, it consolidates your compliance configuration into one place so you can prepare for any accreditation faster. We'll talk about that more in a few slides. And the solution again is open source, so you can access it directly via GitHub and set it up yourself. If your organization doesn't have the team or the time to dedicate to setting up a solution like this on your own, you can always leverage the AWS professional services team or AWS partners from our partner network to implement the solution for you. And of course, 
you can leverage AWS support for any questions or technical assistance regarding the solution as well. And so I want to talk about how this solution addresses some of the challenges we talked about earlier. So first, uh, with Landing Zone Accelerator, you have the flexibility to integrate with other management tools. So Landing Zone Accelerator works with both AWS Control Tower and AWS organizations for uh, multi-account uh, structure and compliance. And it gives you options on how you set up that multi-account structure and flexibility to work with that. It also leverages AWS expertise. It's built uh, by AWS and shared with our customers as a solution. And again, it's available on GitHub uh, for you to view and deploy yourself. And the solution eases the heavy lifting of manage com managing compliance configuration so that you can dedicate your resources to actual cloud operations or um, you know, things that drive your uh, organization forward. And again, you can set up the environment in days instead of weeks. And because it's open source, you can innovate and create new configurations and share those with others. We'll talk a little bit more about how those configurations are set up shortly. And it allows you to quickly establish a security posture for your organization and apply that across all AWS accounts that you own. So now I wanna talk a little bit about some of the security features. So customers who are just starting out on their cloud journey may not have the skills to be secure and compliant on the AWS platform uh, from the start. So with Landing Zone Accelerator, they can use all of these services uh, to enable their environment without having to be experts in each of these services that you see here. And so previously, for these security tools to work in a repeatable manner, customers would need to have expertise to enable all these features. But because Landing Zone has all of these AWS services built into the configuration, uh, it allows our customers to uh, start wherever they are on their cloud journey. All they need to do is adjust their configuration file, uh, which simplifies the customization process and reduces any deployment burden uh, that you might face. And all of these services that you see on the slide are used to create a secure landing zone uh, for our customers with Landing Zone Accelerator. And so in addition, networking can be just as complicated as security at times, but Landing Zone Accelerator helps with the orchestration and deployment of a networking infrastructure. We'll see this a little bit more when we take a look at the architecture, but it follows the AWS best practices of spinning up one account per workload. And anytime a new account is created, Landing Zone Accelerator automatically deploys and connects that account to your existing infrastructure. So this simplifies the process of onboarding new accounts into your existing environment. And now we have the operations features and services, and these are the orchestration aspect of Landing Zone Accelerator. So you can think of this kind of as the ignition button for the solution. So these features make up the deployment engine, and the services that you see on this slide are deployed within what we call a management account that's responsible for deploying all of the AWS infrastructure and services throughout your multiple accounts. So for example, when you make a change to a configuration file, um, that change is gonna be deployed across every single account tied to Landing Zone Accelerator, but you deploy it in one management account. And what's more is that the history of the changes and configurations that you make are stored in AWS code commit. So you can clearly see what changes were made, who made them and when. All right, so now I wanna dive into the architecture here and talk a little bit deeper about how the Landing Zone Accelerator solution works. We do have limited time today, so I have to keep it somewhat high level, but for now, let's take a look at this architecture. 
And uh, I first want to talk a little bit about how Landing Zone Accelerator is deployed. So there are four uh, crucial aspects that I want to talk about here. And the first is the installation cloud formation template. So this is an infrastructure as code template that's pre-prepared for you. You can find this uh, in any of the Landing Zone Accelerator documentation. And so you take this template and you deploy it into your management account, uh, which we'll talk about more in just a second. And it sets up the Landing Zone Accelerator solution for you. And so primarily this template that we see is deploying two code pipelines that we'll talk about more in just a second. But before that, I want to talk about one of the most important aspects of Landing Zone Accelerator, and that's the configuration files. So Landing Zone Accelerator uses six configuration files, which are an account list, global settings, and then some configurations for identity and access management, um, networking, your organization, and security. And these are where you take control of your landing zone to fully customize its functionality. So if you wanna add new accounts or you wanna change configuration options for all of your uh, multi-account structure, you simply have to update some lines in these configuration files to make those changes. And that brings me to my next point, uh, point three here, how these changes are rolled out. So when you deploy landing zone accelerator, it creates two code pipelines for you. And the first is just an installer that builds your CDK project for the second pipeline, which we call the core pipeline. And this core pipeline consists of a CDK project, um, which is the cloud development kit. And that's gonna deploy infrastructure for you. And the CDK project automatically takes any changes that you committed to those configuration files and applies them to all of the accounts across your organization. So if you have any familiarity with the AWS organization service, this section might look familiar to you, but this is the management account and the root organizational unit for an AWS organization's uh, setup. So this is the, um, the, the management area where you control the configurations for all of the member accounts in your organization. And, um, this is also the account where you deploy and manage Landing Zone Accelerator. And um, this, again, is going to take the configuration and apply it to all other accounts in your organization as well. So we have uh, another uh, mandatory organizational unit here, and this is the security organizational unit for Landing Zone Accelerator. Um, this may look familiar as well, if you're familiar with um, you know, organization structure or AWS control tower. But what we have here is two AWS accounts in this organizational unit. One is for your log archives and the other is for um, your audits or your security tooling. And I, I, I do want to add here, these accounts let you aggregate um, both your logs and your security uh, processes and findings into single accounts so you can quickly access and understand uh, your logs and your security findings. And so a unique feature of Landing Zone Accelerator is that you have the option to include some accounts dedicated to your infrastructure. So for example, you can optionally configure um, some networking with both endpoint and inspection VPCs that you see here to route your traffic through before hitting any of your workload accounts. Um, so for any other services shared across an organization, this is where you would uh, create those accounts and manage them in the infrastructure organizational unit. And finally, in the bottom corner here, we have your actual workload accounts. So these will of course vary based on what you're actually running, but they'll be configured to inherit all of the security and networking configurations that you've set up from the time that they're provisioned. So this makes it easy to quickly onboard new accounts and connect them to your existing infrastructure. So I know this uh, is a lot to take in here, but 
Um, you know, this is a, you know, kind of a high level introduction to landing zone accelerator. Now, if you want to learn more and get more detail, I want to share a couple links with you here. So first is the GitHub repository for the solution. So you can actually take a look at the code, um, understand a little bit more deeply how the solution is deployed and what it's building and creating in your environment. And then we also have uh, the AWS Solutions Implementation and Deployment Guide. So this gives all sorts of information about the solution, um, you know, from just higher level understanding of the solution to technical details, um, details on the actual pipelines that are deployed for you, as well as information around cost and best practices. So I'll leave these up for just a second here uh, so you can scan the QR code if you'd like. But uh, with that, that concludes our quick session here. So I wanna thank you uh, so much for allowing me to talk about the solution for a little bit. And if you'd like to connect uh, to learn more about Landing Zone Accelerator and how I can help you manage your compliance at scale, feel free to reach out to my email here or um, you know, also uh, check out the documentation I shared on the previous slide.